Exhaust Valve Assembly Installation Instructions. The exhaust valve assembly activates the water relay when the foot control is engaged and the water toggle switch on the foot control is switched to the on position. Replacing the exhaust valve assembly. Switch the auto control delivery unit's master on off toggle to the off position. Open the lid of the delivery unit. Remove the tray and move the swivel tray assembly so it clears the auto control top plate. Turn the two access nuts located at the bottom of the delivery unit until the top plate is free. Access nuts are secured via E-rings so they will not fall out of the delivery unit when loose. Carefully remove the top plate by lifting from the back edge. For the AS1 auto control delivery unit, lift the hinge control shroud from the front of the delivery unit. Unmount the auto block assembly from the delivery unit by unscrewing the button head socket cap screw using a 564 hex wrench. Do not disconnect any tubing from the auto block assembly yet. Decouple the quick disconnects on the quarter inch white drive air tube from the umbilical that connects to the auto block assembly. Decouple the quick disconnects on the 1 8 inch gray foot control signal air tube from the umbilical that connects to the exhaust valve assembly. Remove the quarter inch white drive air tube from the side of the auto block assembly by sliding the large ferrule that secures the tube to the drive air barb away from the auto block assembly. Remove the eighth inch yellow or black water relay supply air tube that connects to the exhaust valve assembly from the barb T that runs in line with the air supply for the syringe. Remove the 1 8 inch yellow or black water relay supply air tube that connects to the exhaust valve assembly from the signal air barb located on the water relay assembly. If the exhaust valve assembly is secured to the delivery unit base plate with a timeout and zip tie, cut the zip tie to free the exhaust valve assembly. If the exhaust valve assembly is not secured to the delivery unit base plate, move on to the next step. Connect the quarter inch white drive air tube installed on the new exhaust valve assembly to the drive air barb located on the side of the auto block assembly. Slide the large ferrule over the barb to secure the tubing to the auto block assembly. Couple the quick disconnect on the quarter inch white drive air tube installed on the new exhaust valve assembly and the quarter inch white drive air tube from the umbilical. Connect the 1 8 inch yellow water relay supply air tube located on the new exhaust valve assembly's uppermost barb to the barb T that runs in line with the air supply for the syringe. Connect the 1 8 inch yellow water relay supply air tube located on the exhaust valve assembly's lowermost barb to the signal air barb located on the water relay assembly. Couple the quick disconnects on the 1 8 inch gray foot control signal air tube installed on the new exhaust valve assembly and the 1 8 inch gray tube from the umbilical. Switch the delivery unit's master on off toggle to the on position. Test the functionality of the new exhaust valve assembly by opening the water flow control screw to the corresponding position you plan on testing, switching the water toggle switch located on the foot control to the on position, unmounting the handpiece from the auto holder, then engaging the foot control. If the exhaust valve assembly functions properly, secure the exhaust valve to the base plate by using the zip tie and tie mount provided in the kit. Mount the auto block assembly to the delivery unit and secure the delivery unit top plate back to the delivery unit or close the shroud.